Hey, Coach Kevin here. Hope you're doing well and having a great day so far. So I wanted to share with you one of my favorite quotes from my book, Your Oxygen Mask First. And the quote is this, there is no in-between with leadership. It either slowly destroys your life or it forces you to get stronger. Now that might not seem like a positive or motivating quote, but it's the truth. The challenge of building an enduring great company and doing something amazing in your career is it takes a big toll on you. And that can be painful. It also can be an absolute blast if you do it right. This is another quote from the book about work-life balance, which I think is an absolute silly concept. But here is the way I like to see it. You don't go to the amusement park roller coaster and say, I want to be balanced. No, you want to be as unbalanced as possible because that's the thrill of the ride. And for high performers, we like it when it gets a little bit easy and settles down and catch our breath. But then we get bored and we want to do more. So this is about making sure there's continual challenges. So there's this beautiful model I have found that would help to illustrate what we're talking about here. And on the one axis, it's the level of performance and the other is the level of stress. And the real thinking here is maximum performance comes at this intersection of the optimal amount of stress and, and what works for you. So if you look at the chart here, is that you'll see the green dot in the middle. That is maximum performance. Now, with this chart, it's not stable. It moves around to the left and to the right. If you go down and see the yellow star, that is safe place, easy place. There's not a lot of stress. There's also not a lot of performance. And it's just like a racehorse. A racehorse needs competitors to run its fastest. They cannot often run their best if they're just out there by themselves. So if you look at a high performer, there's not enough stress or competition for them to really feel that performance anxiety that brings out their absolute best. Now, if you look over at the red dot, the red dot is too much. That's the point where the stress is starting to kill the person and just destroy them on the inside. Now, they can handle it for a bit, but that's a point where they need to learn and grow to be able to handle it, or maybe it's just a situation that's too much. So what we're trying to do here as high performing leaders is to get in that highest performance zone right around the green and stay there. Unfortunately, what ends up really happening, it goes to way too much, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna die, it's, 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 it's destroying me, to not enough, and I'm bored. So that would be why my major question I always ask high performers or A players is, hey, how's your level of challenge? And if their eyes roll in the back of their head, I know they're in the red zone, and that's a little bit too much. And if they're smiling and engaged and sitting forward, they're probably in that green zone. And if they're kind of, well, you know, I'm getting kind of restless, looking for another challenge or opportunity, I know they're in yellow. So as leaders, our job is to keep pushing them there. The key is, what do you do when they're in that red place? And this next slide will help you understand it. This is where the learning, the growth, and the development comes in. If you're using the skills you used five or 10 years ago, you won't be able to handle more stress and challenge. So what you need to do is to learn your way to keep moving that green dot out and out and out so that your performance level goes up and the amount of stress and pressure you handle can also go up. And essentially, that's what all the 17 habits are in my book. There's 17 habits to help you to mentally and mechanically handle more pressure and challenge so that you can rise up to your goals and achieve what you want and still enjoy the ride. So if you haven't already, go to lawrenceandco.com and go and do the oxygen mask self-assessment. You can allow yourself to rate yourself on those 17 habits and then figure out which one you need to do next. After you do the assessment, it'll point you to videos on each of them to walk you through a bit more detail of what you can do. So the key point of all of this is that you need to double your capability every three to five years to deserve the designation of leadership. And you do that through growing what you know, who you know, and your own resilience. If you don't, even though you may want more responsibility, it'll often start to slowly destroy you, and, and that's not fun. Now, if it slowly hurts you for a few months, it's fine. Work on some strategies, improve, and get better. The final thought I'll leave you with is for yourself and your team. If you're finding people floundering where that red dot is, where it's just too much, go back and ask the question, what do they need to learn or change to be able to rise up to that level? Not what do we need to do to reduce the pressure. Our job is to give and take more pressure but to learn better skills to do it. I hope that helps and I wish you well. If you have any questions, leave a question here. Otherwise, have a great rest of the day, rest of the week. All the best.